and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Twisted Swain. We played this a week ago and this deck was awesome. And we're seeing a lot of this deck um, and, you know, different variants of this deck in um, just in ranked these days as other people are really figuring out that this deck is really good. Um, so today today we're playing two of two of the best decks in Runeterra. Y'all know that I really like Midrange Frostbite. We're going to play two of the other real good ones with this Twisted Swain and then Endure Spiders, which doesn't really have anything to do with, like, too much to do with spiders anymore. Um, but that's the thumbnail that I have is Endure Spiders, so that's what we're going to call it. Uh, but anyway, this yeah, this deck is just really solid. You know, you have your Leviathan Swain at part of the top end, which is just so good, um, so good together. We don't really have Will of Ionia in the format to be bouncing Leviathan or Swain. Like it's like these things are really hard to kill, and that's going to be our main way to winning. And we have lots of lots of removal and lots of ways to get to the late game where we're not really far behind. Um, and we have good blockers with like House Spider, Petty Officer. Those are great blockers, and they pair with Make It Rain and Ravenous Flock to take things down. You have the Powder Cake from Deckhand that can help out Make It Rain or, or just other things in general. Then you got your Card Advantage with three Salvage that help you find things. Your Spray Fins with the Card Advantage, your Twisted Fate with the Card Advantage, and um, you know interaction with both Red and Gold Card. Pretty awesome deck here. So let's go ahead and play some games over in ranked. We're having, you know, we're gonna gonna kind of play two two rank up decks here, and see how well we do with the first two. And then I got three donation decks to fill out the day. We got a lot of donation decks on the schedule, but I wanted to do, um, you know, how we usually have rank up Sundays. This is kind of like a little mini rank up Sunday with with these two rank up decks, and um, because then we're gonna have even though this is Saturday, because then we're going to be doing our, our meme tier Monday on Sunday, because I'm not going to be streaming on Monday. I'm going to take take one day off. I haven't taken a day off since late June, so I'm going to take a day off. But I'm doing some extra decks during these days, so for those of y'all on YouTube, the schedule won't really be disrupted too much. All right, Ash Sejuani. Um, let's see... Like, there's nothing here that I really don't like. This is all pretty decent. Um, I'm... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep all this. This is all pretty... This is all just fine. Omenhawk's the not not the best thing to arachnoid sentry. Okay, the new labs are really good. Cool. Ancient Yeti. Huh. We have some Yetis here. So I wish I could I could go Petty Officer, get a Powder Keg, and then do 5 damage to the Ancient Yeti, but then it won't be stunned or damaged anymore, so it won't actually be able to Ravenous block it. So, kind of hoping we draw, like, Make It Rain, or Twisted Fate, or something like that. I could go... So I can go Spray Fin. I do want to play Petty Officer, but I can go Spray Fin here, maybe draw Make It Rain. See, that's good. No. Darn. 
the only version of Make It Rain I didn't want. <laughs> I just wanted to kill the 5-1. Uh, I'm gonna have to use, like, Ravenous Flock to kill that thing. Obviously, I can block it, but then I take a bunch of damage if I block it. Yeah, what's thoughts on the one cost Yeti versus the ancient one? Well, they yeah they do drastically different things. Why are you here? Me up, baby. Nope. Like the one cost Yeti is just a, a one two that you want is like a blocker. And things like that. And just slows the game down. The ancient Yeti is a finisher. Is a top end finisher. No. No, I don't know what I want to do. I guess it's Swain, but playing Swain's not great against crossbite cards. That's the kind of the problem. I became a soldier. Only the finest serve. Through the coral. I don't think I play Dreadway Deckhand because if I play Dreadway Deckhand, then I have a powder keg. And I really don't want a powder keg against the overwhelm agent yeti. So I was going to play that, look for a 2 damage removal spell to be able to kill the Ancient Yeti. Um, obviously we didn't find one. And obviously we just drew more Deckhands and House Spiders and those are not... Not very good. Oh my gosh, I just played the wrong card. I was I was kind of looking at their board. I meant to choose Petty Officer. That was just dumb. That was just bad. Uh, oh well, we were going to lose that game anyway. But I was debating between House Spider and Petty Officer and decided to go Petty Officer. Um, and yeah, that, so that didn't work out. But... Even if I played Petty Officer, I was taking 9, because I wasn't going to block the 9-9. Nine -nine. And so I was taking 9, and then they have the Decimates in hand, and, and it's not like I'm, I can't really beat. Uh, I was going to go to a low life total where I couldn't beat those Decimates anyway. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I could I could block the other three things, but the Decimates were going to kill me. So it didn't matter. I hit pretty hard. I wasn't really expecting those ancient yetis. Those ancient yetis did hit quite hard. And then that that make it rain missing, that really hurt me too. But it was going to be tough to beat that nine nine. All right, let's see. Right, well, because like if that make it rain killed that five one, then I could have had like my ravenous flock help kill the the other one, and they wouldn't have drawn an extra card with the Trifarian assessor. It would have changed things quite a bit. Thresh Lux. Mulligan Swain. Bubbies. Oh. 
yeah, Swain's definitely good. I mean, it's more... It's more Leviathan. And, like, the Leviathan-Swain combo is amazing. But Swain isn't something that you need, like, you know, early on in the game. Because it's... Because it is pretty vulnerable, but it's really all about the Leviathan Swain combo. Yeah, Leviathan's a little bit broken. Especially when you combine it with Swain. Okay, so no five mana remembrance. can't play Radiant Guardian this turn. They can again play 5 Mana Remembrance, but... Um... Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Eyes open. I wish we actually gained a mana... But, oh well. The Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. Packed him good. So now they can play. Now they can play Radiant Guardian. Gotta trust your instincts. So I can go Death's Hand here, they play Radiant Guardian, I stun Radiant Guardian. I had stun plus flock. Double back for the next kill. Meet them head on. Ah. Virtue guides me. So, Radiant Guardian's out of here. That's definitely good news. Let the light guide you. Uh, that was not the card I wanted to face. Alright, so I could make it rain to destroy the barrier. And then... Uh, powder keg. Do three, and now it's at two health. And then next turn I go twisted fake gold card. If they have like a six damage spell in response, I go death's hand. That's a lot of cards to take out Lux, but Lux is worth a whole lot of cards. I want to draw Leviathan. No, I should do this before they play something else. Deal me in. 
the problem is this is this is not good against another Radiant Guardian because then they can play another Radiant Guardian afterwards. And then that's a mess. Um, so Death's Hand keeps them from drawing two cards. What's up, Nick? Yeah, this... Oh, yeah, this deck is really strong. This Twisted Fate Swain deck. Definitely really strong. Keep them from drawing two cards. I think I do keep them from drawing two cards. You know, it's basically like the Death's Hand is trading with both the top two cards in their deck. Like, I think that's good. You know, it's basically like a two-for-one. Well, so I talked about if they had another Radiant Guardian, then this would be... Big would be bad but good news is Lux is out of here I guess that's the good news oh man <laughs> I just worked so hard to get that thing out of here I worked so hard to get rid of that Lux you will be scoured from this land I guess Riptide Rex is my play next turn. Where are you? That's good. That's just another thing that. It's just another thing in play to take targets away with Riptide Rex. Well, I think the... I mean, I consider the Endure deck an aggro deck. Lux plus Rekindler is just so good. <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty rough. So I don't want them to kill Leviathan. Like, if their plan is for Demacia, I don't want them killing Leviathan. I'm just hoping to hit the Nexus. Good. Because that stuns something. Such little love. Alright, so I can do one to everything with Twisted Fate and st stun something. Or I can go Gold Card, which stuns something and does two damage to the one thing. The two damage to the one thing doesn't matter because they're all plus three, the plus three, plus three anyway, so we might as well do, do it this way. Who says I don't share? I will break them. Oh, 
Okay, well that's not killing Swain. That's good news. Obviously, obviously, if they just have any more, any other spell that costs six plus mana, we're dead. <laughs> but for now, let's do this. Wow. I care that little about Swain. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. Please no spell at all. Okay. This is not the end. So it turns out three Luxes are difficult to beat. Spent a lot of cards killing the first Radiant Guardian, then killing the first Lux, and then they had that that other Radiant Guardian. Um, that definitely, you know, that really slowed me down. And then just played two Rekindlers, and got two Luxes back, and that was too much to handle. Want any of these? Um, our Spider Lux deck that we're going to be playing later on is basically is just like what my opponent was just doing. You know, like it's three Radiant Guardian, three Lux Rekindler, like that kind of stuff. So maybe we'll be doing that to our opponent later on. Uh, which deck, Dreamy Chaos? What do you, what do you talk? What's the question? Yes, that is that is definitely this game. Currently, uh, is just play play bigger things. Yep, that is definitely this game right now with with the Ionian nerfs, with like Shadow Assassin and Will of Ionian nerf. Like you you know you don't have like the clock that Shadow Assassin had, and you don't have. And so, like, elusives are way down, and, um, and, you know, you don't have, like, the, the punishment for playing bigger things with the Will of Ionia, the tempo play. So it's just play, play the biggest stuff. Okay, yeah, so the opponent's playing, uh, Spooky Karma. The opponent's doing over there. You'll fight or you'll swim. So it's just a it's just a Shadow Isles control deck using Karma to take over the late game. I'm quite surprised that one one didn't block at all. Deal me in. Quite surprised by that. In their tracks.
So Thresh challenges Twisted Fate. We'll have a new Twisted Fate to play, but then we also have, we can Ravenous Flock. There. Yeah, playing Demacio 3x Blightsteel. I mean, I can see that. I mean, yeah, like it, it is just go bigger the format. So yeah, I guess this is a good a good bright steel format. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate that. Yeah, Yasuo is not not real good. Um, like the Yasuo decks. Hesitations to tell. I don't know. Maybe, honestly, I guess I haven't tried a Yasuo deck in about you know a couple of weeks. Maybe Yasuo decks are becoming better positioned. With the format being go bit you know, go bigger dot deck, maybe maybe we should try a Yasuo of like real big Yasuo with, you know, a bunch of Mina Swiftfoots. You know, so we could play, you know, Minotaur Reckoners and Mina Swiftfoots like with less Will of Ionia. That definitely makes Minotaur Reckoner better. So a bunch of that kind of stuff, and Yone's and things like that. Yeah, and that's that's how you make that's how you make the deck better with. Nenuel said the biggest problem with Yasuo is if you don't draw him or if he dies, then your deck isn't very good. And that's that's if you just play a whole bunch of like stun cards you know, just, like, that kind of stuff, just, like, spells with Yasuo, but if you just play a whole bunch of huge units where your deck will still be fine without Yasuo, because, you know, you're playing, like, Minotaur Reckoner, Yone, like, Swiftfoot, like, those things can close out games without Yasuo. Maybe that's the thing to do. We could play Yasuo with Swain also. You can go Leviathan and Swain. Uh, you can have that combo as well. Um, I don't... Just don't really. I mean, I have six mana here, but I don't really want to play these cards. I don't know. I don't really want to pick a card either. So, like this, this house spider doesn't. I don't know. I guess. I guess they probably don't have withering whale because if they had withering whale, they would have played it. But this doesn't really. I don't know. It's not. It's not something I love in this spot. Yeah, you kind of have to play Yas with Nox Yasuo with Noxus. Because Noxus is the region that has more stun things to go along, but you don't have to. You can also play Yasuo with like Freljord. Um Yeah, I mean you could we could do like Yasuo Freljord. Freljord would have like entreat to draw Yasuo and also protection spells. So my plan is Riptide Rex this turn. I do need to be worried about Ruination. My opponent's definitely a Ruination deck. But you usually don't play Karma the turn before you play Ruination. Yeah, I could go Yasuo Sejuani. It, depend it depends if you want to be just all in on Yasuo with, with like, um, if you want to go the Entreat route where Entreat always draws. Um, So if I play this and then they play 
if you always want to draw Yasuo or if you just want to play probably a better deck and just play Sejuani, I would probably play Sejuani and play just a better deck with Sejuani. Uh, Alright, so do I want to play Riptide Rex and then get Ruinationed? So they would be out of mana. I would have my four mana. I could still play Salvage. I would still have two Swains, a Twisted Fate, a good amount of stuff. I could just also pass the turn back. They take another three, go to eight, but then they have Enlightened Karma. And Enlightened Karma... Not something I love. I could cast Swain, then they Ruination, and then I play Twisted Fate. Get another threat on the board first. By my hand, I will not subscribe. So this definitely forces them to Ruination. And if they just don't have Ruination, they're, like, pretty dead. Indecision is the first of me. I don't have a great open attack. Like, how you said, like, if I just... If I would have just passed the turn and then gone two attacks... With leveled up Karma, them having Withering Will with leveling up Karma, you know, like gain six, do a whole bunch of damage. It's not a great open attack, in my opinion. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Or played one. I will break it. All right, well, they didn't have, didn't have Ruination, and they kind of needed Ruination. Outplayed. One and two. We are just playing against all slow, you know, big slow decks. So maybe I need to retry some Yasuo. I'll do that today after the stream of kind of re rebuild some Yasuo. Retool it to this metagame. Okay, well this is not going to be... Uh, yeah, this is this is going to be a much faster deck. Um, Alright, so I like how Sprayfin's an elusive, because I think that having an elusive against Fizz is really important. So you're going to keep that. I'm going to keep the Sentry Flock combo. And kind of look for, like, Make It Rain would be nice. Draw Mega Rain, but Jagged Butcher too big. The the no, Blunderporo. The worst card to draw. All right, we'll pass the turn. They waste a couple of mana. Just two mana. I got ways to find in mushrooms. Um. A red card. Or played one. Something for all. So I can death sand to kill a chump lump, or make it rain to kill Jagged Butcher, put the chump lump down to one. I think I just Death Sand. I do like using some of my spell mana because of Sprayfin attuning. I think I do this. And then next turn I can like lead with Sprayfin. And they play something else. 
Huh. They play something else, and then I make a rain, which kills this thing and does one damage to the other thing they play. This is a fine day for murder. Plenty still to go now. All right, that's pretty sweet, Jagged Taskmaster. This card's cool. I don't even know if I should attack with the petty officer there and, and trade with that. I probably I shouldn't have, honestly. I guess I guess I know the answer. I should not have because I have Twisted Fate. They could, could red card that away. That's a bad attack with the petty officer. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. I'm always up for a round or two. Yeah, Sejuani's just great. Even in even in with like a Yasuo deck, I mean it's just a great card. Kinda takes the Minotaur Reckoner slot. I could just have a 3-2. Their 3-1 would still be dead. Bad attack by me. But I think we're gonna be just fine. Victory awaits. Fear the power, do not see. The sea beasts will fear us. Is it gonna be three ones now? That's kind of a mess. Cause now those get to block. Those can block Swain. It's kind of a mess. So I guess I should play the Swain's Ravenous Flock in case we find another Leviathan that we can draw Swain again. Instead of playing the other Ravenous Flock. Sixteen puff caps. All right, GGs. Praise the Noctora. Remember this day. The thing I don't like about on Sejuani's design is that her spell is not the same as the one she quote unquote casts when you play her. Too much value even there. Yeah, I guess I hadn't really thought about Sejuani's champion spell being caught in the cold. Instead of Fury of the North. But that's not that's not dissimilar to other champions. Like Katarina creates a blade's edge, but then has a Death's Lotus for a champion spell. I know that was just one off the top of my head. Um I'm sure there's other examples of that kind of stuff. Okay, Ash Sejuani again. Last time they turned into a Yeti deck, 
and we got the blade, the killed by a bunch of yetis. Left when I'm done. I don't really care about this powder keg. I'd rather I'd rather have the powder keg die and save five life. I don't want to take the five damage. Saving Arachnoid's sentry for Ash. They go Ash here. That's what I was saving that for. Should be the 26th, Dreamy Chaos should be the, the next set. 26th. That card. Basically, you don't want to play Swain before... Um, don't want to play Swain before Swain levels up because of Culling Strike. Don't want to play 3-6 Swain. Want to play 4-7 Swain. All right, well, now I, re I regret blocking because I'm just going red card. I was kind of going gold. I was kind of planning on gold card, but I guess red card was just better. So I still have an extra 2 2. I will level up the Swain. sitting on Reckoning, they're going to kill a whole bunch of my stuff. That's just how it is. Some 
something for all. What's up, Geo Leo? Thanks for the cheers. How are you doing? All the world on one arrow. Guess I should have done that post combat. So I believe they have another Enraged Yeti, which they do. Pain is nothing. I wish I could play this Death's Hand. I wish I could respond to my gold card and put this Death's Hand here too. And because then that's done another thing with the Swain. Swiftly now. Easy. Um. Which one is it better to have in play? Or I guess, I mean, I guess it's better to go this way, right, right. Because that's, if I go this way, then this also dies. I don't save Swain. But I have to put this here in case it's, you know, like, Fury of the North or something weird like that. Yeah, that's true. Red card would have also stunned. The red card would have. So you know, I was. I knew that like this was gonna happen. I was gonna have to fervor with the Swain and try to kill Ash that way. So like, red card would have split up the damage one and one with Sejuani and Enraged Yeti or Gold Card. Um, made it two on Sejuani. Leviathan's our best card. Mm. That's too bad. Fear of the North got me again. I have the deck was stacked against us. Fear of the North is so good. This card's great. Um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't play. I made two, I made two small mistakes in that game. One was like blocking with a two-two. I could have had an extra two-two, and you know that would have helped. And then the other one was um, when I cast my ravenous flock. I should have just passed 
and let them attack and i would have probably taken four less damage than ravenous flock after combat and then if they fury the north to save their five four i'm taking four less damage and that that would have kept me alive you know, so that could have definitely been the difference between winning and losing but we don't know what else was in their hand and you know we don't you know it would have had to it would have required them not having any like frostbite plus culling strikes or you know anything else but that could have been the difference those two small little mistakes all right so with those games um our top end was still awesome like this this is great but honestly with how the format is i'd have to say that i was pretty disappointed with deckhand and house spider these two cards just didn't really seem to matter that much um and you know like they were just like extra bodies that just kind of got thrown away and just really weren't impactful like they weren't really worth the cards uh i don't know if that means you know, I don't, especially like House Spider. I'd, I'd have to say this was probably the most disappointing card. Like the, yeah, I, I don't think the House Spider was good. Deckhand, we can do some things with the Powder Keg sometimes, but like the House Spider honestly wasn't wasn't a good card. Um, which I think I think there are like some good options. I think all three of these options here would all have been better than the House Spider between Hired Gun, Legion Grenadier, and Trifarian Glory Seeker. I think those all would have been more impactful than what house spider was um so i could see playing any of those um and we probably wanted two mana card i don't think we want more three mana cards so we probably wanted two mana card there so we probably want one of those um i just think i think probably a three two is better than a two two and a one one i don't know could be wrong there but it's just that that third point seems so important But then also higher gun with the vulnerable is really good too. I'd probably play higher gun with the vulnerable over a Legion Grenadier, but I'm not sure. Glory Seeker is kind of easy to kill, but is also also can be just amazing. Like that last matchup, like Glory Seeker is great against your against Ash and and Enraged Yeti and things like that. Like or you can play it for two mana and challenge. Um, you know, Glory Seeker is great there. I think it's somewhere, I think it's, I don't think it's House Spider, but I think it's some, it's one of these three cards, and I'm not exactly sure which one, but I think it's one of these three cards between, um, Hired Gun, Grenadier, Glory Seeker. It's somewhere, in, it's somewhere in here. But I don't think it's House Spider. Uh, so yeah, if if you're playing this later, if you got a personal preference on which one you like, I don't, you know, feel free to go with any of those. Or if you really really like House Spider, you, you know, go ahead. You can play House Spider. Um, it would be Crimson Disciple if it was pre-nerf Crimson Disciple. I mean, it would definitely be that. If it was pre-nerf Crimson Disciple. I don't feel that basically I just don't I don't think the one one is val is really valuable at all and just the the two two and the one one together I, I just I don't think it's very impactful and, and they just always would get swept up and I think that these things can have a bigger impact whether it's um you know Grenadier having that three attack also doing that that point of damage to, to, that kind of helps the Swain or having things like you know give give some enemy vulnerable that gives you really good attacks or um, being able to challenge big things, I think it's. I think what any of these cards would have a bigger impact on the game than what House Spider does. With, with this for like if it's a different format, House Spider can be better. But with this format of, um, go really big and play the biggest things, I'm just not really that thrilled with just a two two and a one one, and especially how our deck already goes pretty wide anyway. Like we're putting all these little bodies into play anyway. I just don't. I don't feel like the House Spider works that great with Petty Officer and Deck Hand. And that it's just too much of that kind of thing. We're, we're, we're doing too much of just the little one ones and two twos, and not not enough impact. And so it's probably hired gun or glory seeker. Maybe put like two hired guns, one glory seeker. Maybe kind of split split it up a little bit. 
um, where it's not just all glory seekers because glory seeker is not like a great turn two play right like it's it's like a two mana removal spell that you can play on like turn five and you you play like you know some three drop or something then you also glory seek or something um <clears throat> yeah all right so there we go so there's twisted swain uh those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well if you got like any suggestions for that two mana slot um you know if you have any any uh you know if you have a preference there and you you know you have any reasoning behind your preference let me know i'd appreciate it but thank you so much for watching some twisted swain and i'll see you for the next video